Um, uh, hey, uh, could one of you guys, uh, come help me? I think, I think I'm getting flanked here. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, they haven't shown themselves, so I don't know who it is, but I, I can hear footsteps. Why the hell are you guys all the way up there? You're not tanks, and your supports are in potential danger of dying. So I'd suggest you getting back here and helping. Um, oh, wait a minute, is that? Uh, oh, fuck! It, it, guys, it's an ash. It's an ash. It's an. And I'm dead. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I was one shot by the ash. If you were back here, you'd known that. But no, we have DPS that want to be tanks and try to save the day. <sighs> it's whatever. I'll I'll try to get back in the fight as soon as I respawn. <sighs> uh, huh? What the? Uh, oh, baby boy, it's you. Uh, sorry, <laughs> this match is kind of intense, so I. Didn't really expect you to be home so early. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, how was your debt? <laughs> Sorry, it, it, it's not funny. <laughs> it, it. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> sweetheart, why, why are you so? <laughs> Forgot your umbrella? Ugh. Well, I suppose even though you are really smart, you do tend to forget things sometimes, huh? Oh, you don't now, huh? Now who was the one that reminded you it was going to be raining this morning? But no, you insisted that you were going to be late for class. <laughs> oh no, you're not getting out of this one. The umbrella? was literally in my hand. I'd like to see you try and make an excuse for that one, baby boy. <laughs> oh, oh, look how red you are. <laughs> Did I get you that good? Wow. Sorry, I forget sometimes how flustered you can get, but it's what makes you so adorable. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, just my boyfriend. Uh, he came home. <laughs> oh, someone sounds a little jealous. <laughs> Doing all of that? All of what? You know, at least I'm the one who's in a relationship and not the one who was rejected by Kaylee Hills last weekend. Fuck. I respond. Uh, you guys were in- you guys were fighting for that long? Damn. Right, I'm- I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Huh? Oh. Uh, sorry, babe. Um. Uh, hey, guys. Um, I- I'm gonna- I'm gonna be muted for a little bit, okay? I'm gonna talk to my boyfriend for a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'll- I'll still be on- I'll still be here in callouts and everything. There we go. Uh, oh, uh, baby, yeah, you're just gonna sand hovering over me? Uh, well, is there something that you need? <laughs> Huh? Uh, baby, I can't hear you. Uh, you... you want... Uh, baby, you need to speak up. 
Otherwise, I'm not going to know what you want. Besides, I'm not a mind reader. Well, for the most part. <laughs> Come on, love. I'm sure you can tell me. Besides, after all this time, I'm sure it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Embarrassing? Baby. I've heard much, much more embarrassing things from you. I'm sure this is the least of your worries. <laughs> well, if you don't want to tell me, then I suppose you won't be getting any of my attention for the rest of the evening. Unless you... <laughs> That's a good boy. And that was it? Cuddles? You know you can ask for cuddles anytime you want, baby boy. <sighs> I should have known. I know you're getting better with your anxiety, but... I thought you would have at least been able to tell me you want cuddles. Besides, it's not that big of a deal. I'm always happy to cuddle you. Well, nonetheless, I'm proud of you for telling me. Now, why don't you come over here so I can reward you? <laughs> come here. <sighs> there we go. That's a good boy. Are you comfortable? Good. Good. Now, it's time to get back to... Killing people... Wow, I'm actually surprised that I'm still alive. Okay. What? Hmm? It's fine. Besides, a little water in your hair doesn't really bother me, so don't worry about it. Huh? Um, honestly... I'm kind of not really in the mood to hop on comms with them again. I'm kind of more content just cuddling my sweet baby boy and playing Overwatch. I wouldn't really say I'm friends with most of them. Uh, Mike's the only one that I'm actually friends with, and the rest, I guess, are people he hangs out with. He just asked me if I wanted to play Overwatch with his friends. They're people I've seen around school, but just generally not people I hang around. The only reason why I know their names is because of the amount of times that Mike's yelled at them. I could generally tell that they're not gamers from the amount of times that they've either messed up or gotten us killed. And honestly, if you were in Mike's position, you'd kind of be the same way. Oh, bad. Even worse than bad. Like, horrendously. Like, oh god. Honestly, even I think you did better than these people. <laughs> mm, nope, nope, nope. I take it back. You would absolutely destroy these people. I guarantee it. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Don't you know you have a certified gamer boyfriend on your hands? Well, I know you don't play as many video games as I do, but from the ones that you have, I'm sure you've picked up some amount of skill, right? And if not, then I suppose I better put you on a gaming training session. <laughs> oh, I would absolutely put you on a gaming training session. I know that a lot of these popular kids like to make fun of people like me who do play video games. But between you and me, these athletes also love playing video games. They kind of even pride themselves over it, but it's just something that's between them. Uh, you know, the popular boys. 
So it wouldn't exactly hurt to have a little bit of gaming skill here and there. In case you were to ever, let's say, get in on a one-on-one -on -one gaming battle with them, could help you earn a little bit of credibility between them. Uh, not that it should matter, of course, but you know how high school is and how brutal people can be. Um, anyways, let's, let's stop talking about that. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not going to make you play video games if you really don't want to. Uh, God, I forgot how much of a snoop you were. Always such a shy one, but never shy whenever there's gossip around, huh? Uh, the gossip about Chandler? Uh, surprising and ironic. That you remember that, but not your umbrella this morning. <laughs> hey, hey, stop, stop. You're going to make me mess up my game. <laughs> well, it's a mostly baseless rumor. Uh, I don't know for certain personally how accurate the rumor is. But I do know that there's some truth to it, mainly because Mike told me. <laughs> All right. So, the story is that last week, the football team finally won their first game. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. Of the season. <laughs> yep, I know you're not usually one to keep up with the news about the sports team at our school, but to be quite honest, I'm usually not one to either, but Mike keeps me up to date with news about the football team, so yeah. And the rumor has it that Michaeli Hills has a crush on one of the guys on the football team. Do I know who? Uh, honestly, not really. Probably because I don't really know any of the guys on the football team. Well, except Mike and Chandler, of course. <laughs> yes, I mentioned Chandler for a reason. <laughs> now hush, I'm the one telling the story. So, uh, last weekend, McKaylee Hills wanted to throw a little party uh, for the football team. As a celebration, I suppose. But uh, people are saying it was more of like a gimmick or like a little ruse so that she could get closer to her crush. Which, you know, when you're a rich girl and you have money to spare. Uh, well, a lot of money to spare. Uh, why wouldn't you use some of it to, you know, get a bit closer to your crush? Oh. Uh, no, uh, she didn't end up inviting her crush by himself. Plus, that'd kind of be weird. Uh, what ended up happening was she just told her crush that he could invite the entire football team to the party on her behalf. So that's how Chandler ended up going to the party, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, from the very very, very short amount of time that I've known Chandler, uh, let's just say that sometimes things can fly over his head. Like, like just completely pass by him, like very easily. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. But in this case, uh, he's kind of come to talk of the school, so... <laughs> so, at the party... Uh, McKaylee was mainly hanging out with her crush and his little group of friends, which so happens to also include Chandler. Now, McKaylee is a very nice person. She's a very sweet girl. If she likes your hair, she'll compliment it. If you are wearing an outfit that she thinks is pretty, she'll compliment it. If you have an accessory on you that she likes, she'll compliment it. That's just who she is. That's in her nature to do so. 
So I guess that night, um, there was something about Chandler that she liked. So she wanted to compliment him about it. But I guess the Chandler, he took that as flirting? Well, that's what the rumors say anyways. But anyways, afterwards, he ended up going up to Mike and a few of his friends to talk to them about it. He wanted to ask them if he should, and I quote, hit up McKaylee Hills. Uh, Mike was against the idea, obviously. He thought that a compliment was just a compliment, and that it doesn't necessarily mean anything more than that. But his other friends all simultaneously agreed that he should try and get with Michaeli. So, I guess that night, when there was an opportune time that Michaeli was alone, he went up to her and asked her out. And got wholeheartedly rejected. <laughs> now, I don't know if... And you fell asleep. <laughs> I guess class today really took a toll on you, huh? <laughs> Sleep well, my prince. I hope you have a nice rest. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Hey guys, I'm I'm back on comms. I'm speaking quietly because my boyfriend is asleep. So if any of you dare wake him up, I will find you and I will kill you. Understand me? Good. Now, where are you guys? Well, I can't do much if I don't know where you are. Like, if I'm a healer, I need to know where you are. So just tell me where you are. <laughs> 